Hello, today we're going to review a WordPress Jetpack plugin feature. Jetpack is a massive plugin made up of smaller plugins that WordPress is kind of pushing on all of us right now. And one of the items that are contained within this is this thing right here that says extra sidebar widgets. If you have a Jetpack installed and activated, then you're going to have this automatically put into your widgets. So basically it adds, and you can deactivate it if you want, it adds the RSS links widget, Twitter widget, Facebook like box widget, and the image widget. We're going to go through the image widget right now and show you guys what we think. Okay, so to install it, all you have to do is have Jetpack installed, which pretty much comes by default. If you don't have it installed, then you can go to plugins, add new, type in Jetpack, search, It'll say Jetpack by WordPress, and then you can just install it. Uh, once that's installed, this this one feature in here, like I said, the extra sidebar widgets is automatically going to be enabled, and it's automatically going to put all four of these extra sidebar widgets into your widget section. So we're going to show you how to use the image widget to put an image in your sidebar. So to go th to do that, first of all, you go to your widgets, appearance widgets in the back end. I have my main sidebar here. i just delete this real quick, show you how to put this in. Okay, so all you have to do to, to put this into your sidebar, and I'll show you my sidebar right now. As you can see, no image on top. I have a subscribe button there right now, or a subscribe widget uh, using the text widget. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drag image jetpack over there. Okay, so here are the fields that I need to fill out. You can give it a widget title. I'm gonna just say image title right now so you can see what that looks like. Okay, image URL. For this, you need to go to your media tab. You need to upload an image. So I'm going to click add new. I'm just going to drag an image over to it and upload it. I'm going to click edit so that I can come in here and grab the file URL. And I'm just going to click copy. Look at that big old fake catfish. Okay, so now we're going to come back to our uh, image jetpack widget that we're installing and for the image URL I'm going to paste in the link to that uh, URL. So you can either paste in the full link or you can just cut out your URL if you want it to stay relative. If you want alternate text to come up in case somebody's image doesn't load, I'm going to put crazy catfish picture. So that's what's going to come up if there's text. You can put catfish title there for the title catfish caption. And I might not have all this stuff styled because I'm just using a WordPress 2012 theme right now. You can click the alignment to either left, center, or right align it. I'm going to, let's just right align it for the moment. And then you can say, uh, you can specify a width and height, or if empty, they're going to try and determine the size. Now I did pick out a picture that's more wide than my sidebar is, so we're gonna see what happens when they do that. And then the, the link URL is where you want them to uh, be forwarded to if they click on that picture. So this makes it a clickable link when they click on it. I'm going to click save, go back to my site and refresh. Okay. And you can see that it did manage to resize it, which is pretty cool. You put in my image title. It looks like I didn't have caption style, but you can see that the, ti the title does come up when I hover over it. Um, so if I needed to style the captions. Let's see. Ah, okay, so I didn't even put the caption in there once I once I put the caption in. That's interesting. So this field right here didn't seem to go anywhere. So that's interesting. Um, well, for whatever reason, it didn't put the caption out there. It's not a matter of it not being styled on my theme. It's just it didn't put it out there. So that's something to note. Caption didn't do anything. So I can take that out. Uh, let's see. It, it didn't need to align it right because it shrunk it to fit. I think that if this was an even smaller picture, let's see how big this is. So it's 400 by 300. So if I made this 100 by 66, we could play with the alignment. So I'm just going to change the, the width and height to 100 by 66 so we can see if the alignment's working. Okay, and you can see that it did change the size and it did align it differently. So we'll do left align now. Yep, just like that. And if I need to take it, take those specified heights out to make it look right again, and I can do that, click refresh. Great, so you can see it's it's not very difficult to put an image in here. If I click on it, it's gonna take me to Google, which is where I told it to click on it. If I make that a clickable link. The other thing that you can do is you can take out the title under the widget title, I believe, 
let's just click refresh and see if it takes out that image title yeah, okay so it did so I mean you you don't have to have a title if you don't want to you can put a title in there if you want you can make this clickable link you can easily align it left right or center you can change the size and that's how you install or that's how you use rather the jetpack image widget in your sidebar so what do I think about the image widget I think it's usable I like that it's already installed with something that you already probably have installed so it's not going to take up a lot of extra overhead to run this things I don't like about it is I, I don't like that the width and height if you set the width you you have to figure out what the height should be like with your calculator and specify it you should be able to just hit just type in the width and have it adjust the height to maintain the proportion in my opinion I think that would be a nice thing for them to add I think that you know this is fine I don't know what's up with the caption not working uh, with it not putting that out there in the code but maybe there's just a bug in it I don't know title works fine alt text works fine this works fine uh, the other thing that I don't like about it is the image URL I don't like that you can't just upload the image inside this widget you know it's kind of a pain to have to go to your media screen upload something there take the the picture URL paste it in here there's easier ways to do it I imagine that they will probably make this easier to use in the future those are my only two complaints about it but it does work like a charm and like I said because you most likely already have Jetpack installed, I like that you can use this feature without having to add one more plugin. So overall, I'd say I'd probably give it about a four, 4 out of 5. Yep, and that's what I would think. So if you have Jetpack, go ahead and use the image widget. It's uh, it's nice. A little bit of a workaround to make these things work. It could be a little easier, but it'll get the job done all day long. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and click like. And then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.